Well, what can I say about the next speaker? An absolute legend and a very good friend of mine for over 20 years, a Padma Shri recipient. Dr. Kirtane is a professor emeritus at St. G.S. Hospital, Medical College, and an honorary surgeon at KEM Hospital. He's an honorary consulting ENT surgeon at Hinduja Hospital, Breach Candy Hospital, Sepi Hospital, Prince Ali Khan Hospital. He's an honorary ENT consultant to His Excellency, the Governor of Maharashtra. More than 3,500 cochlear implant surgeries, out of which almost around half have been done with donations. He has initiated and mentored 75 surgeons from all over India to start a cochlear implant program. His kindness and generosity extends beyond all the work that he does. And it is my pleasure to welcome him today as our guest of honor to give the opening address. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you very much, uh, Jehan, my friend of 20 years. I have seen you grow and grow from strength to strength. Uh, friends, a good afternoon to all of you. It's really a privilege and an honor to be asked to speak at the inauguration of this conference, Together We Can, which is conducted by WeConnect. And I'm really grateful to Vaishtai and Fatima for uh, giving me this honor. I would like to start by, first of all, congratulating WeConnect, its trustees, its workers, for the fantastic job that they have been doing for the past 15 years, helping children and helping parents of children with hearing loss to come to terms with their problems, to overcome the same, and also their efforts in helping these children join the mainstream of life. You know, having been in ENT practice for almost half a century now, and last 26 years being involved very actively with the cochlear implant program, I've had the occasion to, as, as Jehan told you, either personally do or oversee and mentor surgeons in about 3,500 cases of cochlear implants. But a large majority, almost 95% of these have been children, unlike in the developed countries where a lot of adult implants are done. And this is because we've been helping these children by raising donations to uh, get the implants. There are government programs, there are state government programs, and there are a lot of private donors who also help. We also run a trust called the I Hear Foundation through which we help these children who come from the economically weak section of society. Uh, so when I do this, either in Mumbai, in Maharashtra, or other parts of the country, one common fact comes through that the parents of these children face a lot of problems. And it is our job to do counseling. But then I realized that the counseling that I do as a surgeon is almost at the end of their journey because they have gone through everything and now they have come to the final destination of cochlear implants and therefore my counseling usually revolves, or mine or any surgeon's, I can see Dr. Sumit Puruk, they're a very, very famous uh, cochlear implant surgeon from Delhi, and I'm sure he'll agree with me that our counseling revolves around um, the surgery, what happens, what are the possible complications, what is the post-operative care, and sometimes the importance of auditory verbal therapy. But as I said, that's the end point. To reach that point where they go for a cochlear implant, They've gone through an arduous journey of difficulties, confusion, decision-making. And uh, I think we are looking only at their problem of hearing, but many of these children may have multiple problems, not just the problem of hearing, hearing associated with ADHD or, or whatever it may be, and may require other counseling as well. And here I would just digress for a moment to mention that in the last few weeks, I've come across this fantastic personality, none other than our Joint uh, Municipal Commissioner, Mr. Chore, who has an extremely busy schedule, but has shown such passion. And uh, very recently, they inaugurated this uh, Center for Early Intervention. And I, I can see in my interactions with him how passionate he is about 
trying to help us start a universal newborn screening program. I mean, he's got his hands full with his principal duties, but over and above that, he's tirelessly working to get these things done and help us in our, our uh, problems as well. So, uh, you know, when these parents who come to us, uh, when they first come to know that their child has got a hearing problem, they go through a series of emotions, turmoil, starting with denial, They're just not willing to believe that this is possible, that my child is there. It takes some time to convince them. Denial is replaced by anger. Why did it happen to us? Anxiety, fear, a feeling of guilt sometimes for the mother, saying it's because of me that the child has turned out to be deaf. A feeling of loneliness because there's nobody to guide them properly. And sometimes even a feeling of shame, like what will my neighbors say when they find out that I have a deaf child? Uh, very often, these children may be born to parents who've got normal hearing. So they've never had the occasion to deal with the problem of hearing loss and therefore don't know where to turn. Who are they going to turn to for help? And this is uh, further uh, sort of made difficult because of uh, peculiarly different advice that comes in from so many people, from their in-laws, grandparents, neighbors, friends, and sometimes even some professionals who may not be very well informed. And it's an extremely difficult decision for these parents now, which direction to take, because they want to do the best for their child, but they just don't know which way to turn because of this conflicting advice that is coming. So what these parents really need is an organization or professionals where they can go with security, with the knowledge that they'll be quite guided correctly to get advice, to get help. And this lacuna was filled by V-Connect when it formulated itself 15 years ago. And uh, this uh, organization, which is a not-for-profit uh, organization, which has both professionals, volunteers, and most important, members who are parents of children who have had the problem of hearing loss and have had help either by hearing aids or by cochlear implants. So who have completed the journey successfully and they can offer the benefit of their experience to those who are floundering in that sort of deep ocean of what do we do now for our child. So we connect purpose, as I see, is to sort of support these uh, parents and children, to help educate the children, empower them, and to provide hope and guidance to parents in their journey so that they can do the best for their children, mainstream these children, to make them contributing members of society. I understand that We Connect now has over 1,500 parents spread across various cities located in India and even internationally. So they focus on education, mental health, knowledge, advocacy, and several initiatives and programs have been implemented to fulfill their vision and mission. I am quite confident that We Connect will continue to grow rapidly and meaningfully. I wish them all success. And I end here with a promise that if there is any way, any time that I can be of help, I will always be there for you. Thank you.